Hello everyone. I'll wait for some time and uh, once there are few more people uh, I'll join the stream. okay i'll start now uh, hello everyone uh, this is my uh, third live session and i'm going to share uh, some more live uh, some more updates about my future work and uh, i hope you have seen my recent video which is uh, paper cutting mandala art if you haven't seen maybe i can show you now but uh, if those who have seen it they can also see the applications of uh, that no uh the paper cutting that i do uh in the various uh, you know, kind of products that you can make out of paper cutting so this is one that i made very long ago so you can see this if you want more information uh ask me questions i'll let i'll tell you the specifics about all these products that i have made so if, if you have any question please ask me in the comment section So since this is a live stream you can directly ask me any question in this like in so chat is open so this chat is open only for subscribers so if you haven't subscribed during my live channel please do subscribe and then you will be able to uh, chat with me you can ask any question that uh, in the chat window and if you are watching this video uh, in replays you can definitely ask a comment in the comment section below okay so this is the one uh this i'm not sure uh, i have shared uh, the making video of this i made this during ganesh festival um so this is the makhar uh so, so so you can see the how paper cutting can be uh, apply paper cutting techniques can be applied to you know creating various uh, paper models so if you are a, a paper modeler or you are interested in 3d design this will definitely you know um, help you to understand nook techniques and uh, what uh, you know how it can um, uh, take a shape when you actually make it make it as a you know uh, as a final product so i'll definitely uh, improve more on more on it to make it available uh, for more people for masses so i'm working on it that part so this is also one uh, this is just a try out my uh, my daughter she is 3 year old and she told me hey, mama i want a elephant uh, can you make elephant for me so i made this art for her only so i have shared uh, one small uh, short video of this uh, on my channel you can check it and uh, this is also small mandala that i was just just for fun i ha so uh, this one was shared in the live demo on my channel um so so this is just in half an hour cutting so you can watch that video and so paper cutting you just fold a paper into half and you get a symmetrical design like this so this you can do so right now i'm just showing you the applications and other designs that i made since i recently posted video on paper cutting so this is also very intricate and there is some small curve fold over here if you can see this one yes there is a small curve fold so this one i want to um uh, frame it i haven't framed it yet 
uh, I already uh, gave some uh, some of my art pieces for framing, but not this one. But this one, I require some little more depth in the frame. Uh, so in that frame uh, manufacturer, uh, he did not have uh, that kind of frame, particular frame. So I need to find a, a different kind of uh, a manufacturer who can you know, make frame, customize frame for me for this artwork. And this is also a small piece that you can see. And this this was the uh, this was the mandala paper cutting art that I sh had shown in my previous uh, video that the recent video that I uploaded on YouTube. So you can watch that. This is this one also. I'm going to uh, frame it next. And since Diwali is coming, and uh, then in the this live session, I'm also going to show some lantern uh, because Diwali is coming. People are waiting how to make la lanterns so i'm going to share a few quick uh, techniques about you know how you can quickly share about available with available materials that you have so i what so first just let me show you this is the paper rangoli that i you know i thought of this idea in back in 2014 and uh, people loved it <laughs> so uh, so the story of this paper rangoli was uh, so when uh, one device so on, on 2014's Diwali no, November um, I, so Diwali starting and I did not have materials for Diwali uh, rang, making Rangoli and uh, I was that time I, I don't know I kind of lazy to go out and uh, you know buy powder and all then I thought mm, why not to try something in paper why, why do we have to just follow uh, the same thing right so what if i make rangoli in paper right uh the with cuts and all so i started exploring um and then this was the this is not the one that i made that time uh that was more simpler and uh people loved it i i made so all the four five days i made paper rangoli and my neighbors also loved it. Some people criticized that, you know, why we have to follow our tradition and all. But some people really said that, you know, it's very creative. And um, that gave me kind of motivation that, you know, I should keep doing it. And I, uh, so that is also one point where I uh, realized that, you know, I have more inclination towards, you know, exploring art in the art and design in paper. So this is the piece that... Uh, the, the so this piece I made for uh, YouTube video. The YouTube video of this uh, artwork is also there, available on my channel. In future, I definitely maybe in coming days I'll share more uh, paper rangolis. Let's see if I get time uh, because I have other video works uh, in lined up. So yeah, so this is all paper cutting video. Uh, so now. So since uh, I decided to make a video or uh, the you know, live demo for paper lantern with available materials, I thought you know, many people would uh, have even all the ages. They will have um, copy papers at home. At least if not copy paper, at least newspaper, something will be there. So usually paper, uh, most of the people would have copy papers or some printed uh, copy papers, right? Uh, those are uh, those can be used to make something reuse and make some some craft out of it so that's why i thought copy papers copy papers nothing but if uh, people uh, those who don't know the term copy paper is nothing but the xerox paper or uh, the would be some people call like printing paper so normal paper this is basically normal paper jk paper so these are all the brand jk paper copy paper and all so uh this is a4 size basically um not this nothing but the a4 size print uh, where we take a print when we go to printing shop or uh, nowadays i think kids have uh, papers and printers at home uh, my neighbors actually have printers and papers copy papers at home so i thought this will be very common to ha um, have uh, in people's uh, house and and this is post-it notes right sticky notes uh, so usually most of the people will have a uh, sticky notes at, on their house so why i chose sticky notes is they are in colors 
and this paper is in white paper if you are using no newspaper also it's just monotonous color but uh, and if since you have this uh, sticky notes in colors you can actually add some colors into in your uh, lantern designs so the lantern why lantern is diwali is coming uh, halloween is coming uh, i'll also share quick uh, some, uh, some uh, tips for halloween uh, lanterns and uh, also uh, christmas is coming so this will, video will help uh, partly for all these uh, celebrations i love these celebrations because you get a chance to meet a lot of people right and your relatives your friends and we come together and gather and enjoy right and this the lantern and the uh, the food that we eat like for our in marathi we call it fara we meet together and we eat fara on the first day or any of the uh, four, uh, four days right so uh, that food uh, these are all just uh, you know um, uh, i feel you know this actually signifies the uh, beauty of that festival uh, and it so before coming uh, before this festival comes we we are actually excited and make all these things together or you know uh, de basically decorating our house and uh, so i'll show that uh, those ideas how can we you, you quickly can make uh, you know multiple um, the rows of lights dipavali is nothing but the rows of lights so um, and decoration in decoration we usually uh, you know uh, decoration nothing but we in a repetition we arrange uh, beautiful things together uh, it can be in any material any form uh, when you arrange in a uh, uh, um, uh, in a repetition and in line it basically is nothing but you know you are uh, decorating something so um, so this is the one so i'll uh, start with one simple idea this i already made so i'll show you how it can be made quickly with just a this a4 size paper so whenever i'm going to make uh, something here i am going to tilt this uh, webcam camera okay um so right now i'm just going live on my uh, laptop webcam so youtube also has option of other uh, stream keys um, to go live from the different cameras and multiple cameras so right now i don't have that setup but in future i'll definitely have that i'll show it from the top and uh, some side angle and front angle right so you can see it clearly but right now uh, uh, you can please adjust with me yeah i'll, I'll just uh, tilt the camera and uh, i'll show you what i'm doing so i'll start with this first one okay so uh, not this one i'll show the other one so this is the a4 size paper i am going to divide this into four um, parts okay um this is just a simple one what i am going to do is first i am just folding till here you can see i am not going to fold like into really half i am going to leave some space for sticking uh, i am going to use this space for sticking it okay by overlapping so i hope you can hear my voice i'm not sure um, uh, if you you are you uh, know you are you are a, an, i mean <laughs> if i'm audible to you please uh, send chat that you know you are you are able to listen to me i'm on microphone right now so i i hope i am you are able to hear me clearly so okay so i already did this now and what i'm going to do is to divide into this this whole space into four parts i'm folding going to fold this like this still here i'm leaving this space approximately it can be 1 cm okay so now and uh, this also i'm going to make a crease over here so i'm going to say uh, just explain a simple thing over here so when you we make a lantern is uh, 
the trick is whatever is in linear you can actually uh, fold it and roll you know roll it or fold like this and stick it so this form can you know it's just a basic form it can you know it so this can also be a lantern when you put uh when you put lights inside so i'll show you i have tea light so i'll show you the effect that it gives so i'm going to stick this area first so this i got so this is just a basic uh, and when you are making any creation you are you have to visualize in this uh these areas so what i usually do is uh, i do some paper cutting art over on it right you might have seen it already this kind of ideas so whatever like if you have this paper just fold it in like this and paper cut and put a tea light over here like this i'll just uh, switch it off for a while you can see right now uh i already have this paper cutting paper cut uh, you know this thing is ready i'll go i'm going to just stick it i'm using a uh, all purpose glue usually i use fevicol you can use any glue or any all purpose glue to just um, maybe i'll show it in the end or just show now so you can see this right okay so this a4 size paper you can divide into i divided it into half and uh, you can have uh, this paper cutting on this four sides and you can keep it you can have any design on it i can um so i'm going to share some diagrams for this design you can paper cut and do it in next video i'll uh, so recorded video i can actually you know explain it more better way because if we can skip some parts that you know in live videos that are unnecessary right so okay so um now i'm going to show you some thing interesting just a simple thing but i hope uh, i'm hope folding it into half now again the same the same way i'm leaving some space over here to you know st to stick it now i'm going to fold this again into half to get four parts in this area and fold this part like this and what i'm going to see or so, um uh, make it see it clearly right now okay first i'll draw so that you will understand oh. so
so i'm making this jack o lantern um to make it again so sorry by mistake i cut one extra piece in that so i'll cut this piece first okay you can draw it this uh, kind of you know shapes that you want to cut with pencil right now i am showing it with the uh, sketch pen so that you will be able to see in this video this is for halloween idea so you can see uh, when i put tea light in this you can see how it looks now i'm going to cut this outer part this line going to pour paste it and i switch the light off now and you can see this you can make for halloween jack o lantern so if you make multiple and uh, no arrange it in your decoration it will look really good this is a quick idea for halloween jack o lantern now again now i take uh, i'll show you another next idea which is uh, what you do is you fold this paper um you know this you can see just fold this paper uh, till here this may be 3 cm you leave this 3 cm area and then fold this paper i'm going to make this one okay so just fold it okay and then what i'm going to do is i'm you can make two at once with one paper so i'll show you how so you done that fold again <clears throat> this is 1 cm that i'm folding over here okay fold 1 cm on the top 
okay and then one centimeter over here in the bottom if you want you can measure and do it otherwise just approximately also you can do it okay now i'm going to unfold it i'm making going to make straight this is just to get you know um the idea where uh, so i'll explain how are we are going to use it now i'm opening this entire paper and now i'm going to fold see this is the small area and this is the bigger area so the bigger area i'm going to cut lines over here so you can see that carefully these are the straight lines that we have we are making right now so you have this line ready i can draw it for you i'll just know for sure this video purpose i'm drawing the line so that you can get the idea clear idea see so i'm going to cut from here straight lines Okay, hi, hi guys. Hi Nilu and hi Yuji, Mikey. I don't know what's your name. Maybe you can, if you are, it's possible you can share your name. <laughs> Thank you for attending my live session. If you have any question, please ask. And happy Diwali in advance to you. Okay, so. this way you can cut so always close this knife okay i got this thing and you can get this so next i'm going to cut this so that you will get the so at one in one paper you are going to get two lanterns you can make two lanterns out of a one a4 sheet right so um i actually i made kept it ready here but i will make here itself okay with this piece only since i'm no i started with this piece so i'm just going to cut it you can cut uh, either with uh, like this or with the uh, scissor just make this into half okay now so this piece this small piece you know nothing but you're going to stick here like this okay can i would recommend to cut this piece now okay this part and we are going to use this small piece paste this top part on it i'm going to paste it now i hope you can see it clearly see so now you will understand why i took the bigger piece and the smaller one uh, so in a4 sheet it's it's very easy so you know this technique you can try it by yourself so right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this one piece from here okay so that you will get this space to stick this when you roll it 
you are going to stick it here okay so i'm going to stick around i'm trying to be very quick here because you know you might get bored if i do it very slow so okay so this is done now you can adjust right this part like this you can push this area to add that round it you can make it more it or uh, no, round over here so you can you just have to push it really here because so since you already uh, pasted uh, already glued this part it's easily uh, no, you can just push it like this so it becomes round right you can see this you can if you want you can make it you no know, more thinner so if the more thinner it looks it looks more you no know, beautiful that you can try so now so we have this sticky note so i'm going to take this sticky note one sticky note and i'm going to stick it right but before that i just quickly make some frills in the end you can either draw to get the straight lines right now i'm just showing you for you know just for this video purpose otherwise you can draw lines on it and this cut cut it nicely you can also cut uh, you know little wavy to add more uh, interest in your craft so see this frill is ready you just have to paste it like this on it on this so so easy right so sticky note already have a glue on one side so it can be made very quickly so right so you can keep it upside down right so if you keep like this then you no know, this can get fold uh so take other sticky note and cut frills like this that i shown earlier i'll just cut it again actually you don't need to you no know, uh, make lines also you can easily cut with since you you take the bigger scissor and then pull you uh, know push till the end and you just cut it so it's very easy you don't need to draw lines so now i'm going to paste this at one other side where it's remaining see how easy is this so if you have more colors i have only uh, i have only yellow color yellow color sticky note so if you have more colors you can try making it uh, multi you know colorful right this is ready so you make multiple you can at least make at least at least 10 to 15 and uh, you no know, uh, use the thread or nylon thread um and uh, you no know, tie them together to make a, a toren or the row of um, this lanterns to secure you can actually put some glue or cello tape you know it will be good but i think it's fine i, I didn't stick it uh, properly just press it hard otherwise you stick uh, the some glue or uh, cell paper tape so you can tie this tie the thro uh, thread and uh, i can show it right away i have uh, tools over here okay so use so uh, you can use this tool or any pointed sharp tool i'm going to make a sharp the small point over here see 
you can see that and exactly opposite okay now i'm going to use this thread to just tie it like this like this you can hang it uh, on your door or anywhere where you want to do the um, decoration so uh, once there are multiple ready you can actually uh, tie in one thread or tie before like this and then tie to the last uh, final thread so now if you have any question you please ask this is very simple i think you might have tried also but what i'm showing here is how it is you know easily uh, easily can be made with uh, the materials available at your home like copy papers and uh, sticky notes so you can see that um now i'll just quickly show i don't have like if you have a, a series of lights the small lights or we call it mirchi lights if you have that you can actually place it in the, inside that and paste it with the secure it with the, some paper tapes and all inside it and you can uh, you know uh, have a nice effect like with <coughs> lights so i'll just switch the light off you can see how it looks oh okay, actually we can you you can use this tea lights these this tea lights upside down on the from the top and you can secure it with uh, some glue in it and it, it that is also possible see this i hope you can see it i see it very grainy when i switch the light off <laughs> okay so this is done now i want to show uh, the lamp paper lantern with the folding like this okay so when uh, these are very interesting folds right uh, those who know it already it's, you they can understand Okay. you can just you just have to roll like i said ki first principle uh, whatever in the uh, linear grid linear you know whatever it's in linear uh, form you can just roll it and make the circular form and this actually can be made into a paper lamp so i have this two ready with me so i'm going to cut it so okay first i'll show you i'm sorry uh, first i'll show you how i made this uh, thing those who don't know i'll just quickly show that okay with diagrams so um so, since i'm showing it with the a4 size sheet i'll make a diagram first quickly so making going to make it into half so i'm going to fold so basically the drawing is like the grid is like this there are triangles right this in the repetition okay so right now i'll just show you how quickly it can be made you don't need to draw also so i'll show you that right now fold a four sides let me just clear this space first
now fold this paper into half okay I'm just folding this half. I'm not going to cut right, cut it right now. But at the end, we have to uh, cut this piece, this into two pieces. Okay. But right now, uh, so now fold it into linear uh, grid that I have shown. I'll just quickly do. It. So you are going to make it into sixteen parts. Sixteen parts. How to make? It? Those who haven't seen my basic origami video. Uh, where I share basic folds of paper folding techniques. I'll show you quickly. And if you want to see more, more folds, you can go to the video link. I'll share it over here um, when my video uh, is over and pro is processed. In the replays, you can see the link. Otherwise, you, go, you can go to my channel and search for basic origami video part one. You can watch for part two, part three as well if you are more interested. So, so right now I already uh, divided this into four parts. Now I'm going to divide it into eight parts. I'm going to make this one. One, two. Now I divide it into eight parts. Now I'm going to do it on the opposite side. What you do is take this piece like this and align to this line, fold over here, the crease that we get. Again, do the same. I'll just say hi. I'm going to end this live uh, session soon. Uh, if you have any question, you can ask me. So I got this 16 parts already. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold to a this I'm going to form a triangle and then again I'm going to fold like this it's very difficult to fold like this you will not get exact crease you know folds with this but I'm just trying to show you a, a quicker method okay you can try with the grid also so I already got some kind of uh, idea here that so I'm going to fold, uh, use this crease that I got. I'm going to fold it quickly. Otherwise, you can use the diagram like that I have shown here. This one, this you want to, you have to repeat <coughs> in a row. You to, this is one part, right? You make it into like multiply into eight. Okay. You can multiply into it or uh, whatever length that you want. But right now, if you want, you are doing it with me, do it in eight parts with two papers, right? Eight parts like this. And then you can fold easily. So right now I'm just doing this way.
this won't be perfect uh, because of the live session and uh, i want to finish uh, end this live session quickly because i decided i'll go live only for uh, you know one hour so if you have any question uh, please ask if you have any you can go to my channel and check out or uh, whatever interest that you have you can ask me any question at least say hi you know i don't know who all are watching my live session so if you say hi i'll know that people are there okay this top part is done i'm going to repeat the same process here and start from here if you are not able to understand just uh, let me know i will try to create you no know, recorded video for this one but it's pretty simple you just have to push push this i already we already got by folding initial folding uh, some kind of uh, you no know, uh, some creases so by taking the reference of those creases you can make the fold like this in my community post i uh, shared a poll i created a poll where i'm asking what kind of videos that you like the most uh, you can go to my uh, channel and go to the community post tab and just please answer try to answer that uh, you know question that i have it will be really helpful to me so now I'm going to make this cross. Okay. so what i do is i quickly make this creases fine because these are very uh, these are not that strong enough so I'm just basically you repeat this you can observe that these are nothing but mountain fold mountain fold is are this and these are uh, this and this is valley fold okay in origami this is mountain fold valley fold so
taking little longer <laughs> i know it's uh, kind of little boring but uh, what i'll do is i'll start doing with this because it's going to take time okay so imagine like uh, this is your a4 size sheet this is already the a4 size sheet now i'm going to cut it okay you cut that into half and i'll collect all together two parts i'm going to align this one pleat upon other or i'm going to overlap this one part okay and i'm going to stick it now the whole thing i'm going to stick you can put glue properly so that now just define those uh, folds again and this one whole length is ready now see right what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make one point 